Tuesday morning, uh, who is this guy? Looks like Bo's little brother. <clears throat> I'm just bullshit. Good morning, y'all. So, it's Tuesday morning. I uh, didn't work yesterday. Uh, I had a funeral to go to and all that stuff. And now we, we, we back at it now, y'all. It's time to get to it. Uh, I got a lot of work coming down the pipe. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be over there on the big, on those big cuts. I went up on uh, all those numbers over there, so that's going to start being a, a a lot more lucrative uh, on the big cuts over there. Today, <clears throat> it's just me and Zach, and we. Uh, I'm gonna pick him up. And we just got a bunch of yards to cut. A bunch. Well, not a bunch, they're big, you know. Uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yards that we're gonna do. And, yeah. Also, I got to go, I'm going over here to where I was at that job the other day. And I'm gonna mark all those trees while it's still fresh in my brain. Uh, me and me and the lady agreed on three thousand dollars for that job. Uh, I didn't get a lot of footage over there the other day when I was looking at it because, well, I had all this other stuff I had to, to do. Okay, uh, like I said, we got we got about six hundred dollars today, and we're gonna be spraying. So the spray, you can pretty much add another two hundred and fifty dollars on to. The list for spraying and then you can and then the, the benefits of the spray will last for the next couple of rotations it looks like we're getting started a little bit earlier this year we'll just have to see how the weather does uh, we got some bushes to do this morning uh, and yeah this week's gonna be a great week uh, it's supposed to rain I think Thursday morning but we're gonna try to work I got customers calling me left and right. Uh, I got one customer that, that bought a house that I was doing last year uh, over there in a great big neighborhood. I talked to him. I just don't think I want to work for him, y'all. I don't know if I should or shouldn't. Uh, we're going to be cutting this one today. That one's got to get cut. We got a lot to cut today. We got big cuts. So, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna to wanna to bring the other guy, I mean, the, the, that, that new customer into the fold. Uh, from a business standpoint, it, it, it would make plenty of sense because I'm doing one, two doors up from him. But from a frustration standpoint, I don't know. He doesn't wanna, he, well, he, number one, he wants me to invoice him for the lawn. He wants a paper invoice. And, you know, I'm not too tough into that uh, when you're talking about the lawn care, you know. Uh, and then he wants to me to do the property, invoice him, and then have his bank send me a check. See, I'm not too tough with that either. You know, if I gotta invoice you and, and for, you know, $80 lawn, every two weeks and I got to bring a printed a printed paper with me when I come to your house I don't want to do that now we can I can do that via email PDF it to you but I'm not gonna be printing off uh, 50 and 80 dollar uh, lawn care receipts I'm just not gonna do it man it just it, I mean what if I forget that I don't get paid hell no man I'm not gonna do that man there's too many moving parts out here uh, you know I don't like I said I don't mind invoicing him uh, but i don't want to wait two weeks on my money and all that i got enough of that going on already and i'm not gonna i, I ain't going for that uh not when you're living in a million dollar house so he might have to get petty with somebody with another landscaper it won't be me 
All right, y'all. Pick it up, Zach, now. Kick it back. All right, y'all. So we just pulled up on this one, and I'm going to set you guys up on time lapse. Uh, this is a regular. Uh, I went up $20 on this one. Uh, you know, y'all been over here before, and this is about uh it's probably about three acres uh but it's an every two week deal see if i were cutting this one every you know two months then i wouldn't be able to charge her i charge her 140 dollars over here so i don't think about how long it takes i mean i do but I usually throw three mowers on it and we can do it in less than an hour. So, and we got four more all around here. So this is really not, and it's an every two week deal. A lot of the big cuts y'all, we don't do them regular. You know, uh, some of the bigger cuts that you guys see me do where I'm cutting 10, 15 acres, we don't do those, they're not regular cuts. So uh, yeah, so the mowers are doing great. That wheel's holding up fine. Uh, yeah. Time lapse coming. show y'all something that the customer the customer did over here it's a straight setup if you're a lawn care guy you gotta be very careful man these customers will set you up man where uh, they're not intending to but so they have they put new gravel out here right and it's kind of piled up and they got rocks all in the and look how busy that road is out there so why in the world would they not go on and put the gravel all the way to this wall right here why in the world set us up like that where we got to come up in here with a weed eater or a mower? See, that's just 
terrible, man. Because with a weed eater, you can sling it. Look at all that glass. And look at the highway right here. Just go on and put that. If you're going to put new gravel, go on and take the rock to the. Hey, Zach. Zach. You see? Why in the world wouldn't, wouldn't they go on and put the rock all the way to that wall? I mean, you're talking about a setup. Look at all the glass. We did a rock. Uh, we did hit a rock and sling it in the glass. Could hit a rock and mower. Could hit a rock and sling it into their road. Into the car, yeah. I mean, yeah. and I mean, why wouldn't they not just push it over to the fucking? You gonna have to weed it, that dude. Yeah, I'm going to. You know that little area right there. And yeah. yeah, I mean that's crazy right there, dude. To me. I mean, you got all this gravel, man. They could have just pushed it on down, man. I never blow off this either. I always just weeded it off. Yeah. Because I never had the blower with me right here. The thing know? about it is right here, if they're going to put new gravel, why not push it to the wall? That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah, they should. You know? Maybe, I mean, with the gravel there, they could. I mean, and there, just wide enough yeah. to screw it up. Yeah, just wide enough to be like, maybe I can put a mower on there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I can squeeze and it And that's why I'll be hesitant about sending anybody over here that ain't been over here before. Yeah. Or they don't recognize this kind of well, stuff there's a lot of obstacles at this one i mean yeah. dude, there's so many there's that spot over there where the, it dips into that brick right there yeah yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. so i got all around the truck and i moved the truck so make sure you don't blow it toward the truck i don't want to pick up none of that i don't even want to run mowers across the gravel here because man that's just a big setup right there dude and see how it's piled up right there see how thick the gravel is right there Oh, they just push it down, dude. Yeah, the gravel there is enough. Yeah. yeah. And then they can, they don't have to move their car when we come. We can just spray it. I mean, customers just don't be thinking, man. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> All right, this is my phone. So, there's two Bradford pear trees here. Y'all see them? Uh, she wants me to take them out. Pretty easy tree to, trees to take out, really. Uh, she's a little old lady, she, she ain't got no money. So, I told her $1,000, and we don't have to haul them off, but but she, uh, she said that she couldn't afford that, that she could do 800, so. It's, you know, two miles from my house. All we got to do is take them right over that fence right there into the woods. Uh, but you see how close they are to the house. They're not big. It's not big. It's just tall and lanky. Uh, but I definitely want to get over here and do this pretty quick. Uh, so, yeah. So she, she agreed to hate. I mean, I figured it'd take us a half a day. We'll just get steer in a man lift. So, yeah. And you can see how, just to kind of show y'all guys how big they are. And it does not include the stump. See, see. It's hard to see how big a tree is when you don't put nothing up against it. This one right here would be pretty easy. Uh, but, uh, see, right now, if I had the other truck, I hate using my phone. See, <clears throat> if I had the other truck, then see, I could send Zach on to, uh, to, to some yards and I could go on and start getting some of these lower branches off of here and throwing them over the fence. Uh, so, and get started on this. But, it's definitely doable, and we're going to do it for the eight. Uh, and they're probably 50 foot high, but that's not a problem. Uh, the problem is getting the man lift in right here. But if not, 
I could take a panel down and go right in the side, and that might be the best way to do it anyway. The other one in the back to drag stuff through the woods. So, yeah. Zach, come on, man. I thought you was better than that, dog. Aren't you? See, it would be easy to blame that on Zach, right, y'all? But... He didn't do it. Zach didn't do it, I did. <laughs> so, yeah, it sucks to be me sometimes. So, look, Zach, so just, uh... Just take it around that foot pedal. Yeah, that's what I Okay guys, so we got done, probably did around 600, we didn't do good on time today though, it was 3.30, so, and we didn't even get everything done on the list, it'd be like that sometimes I guess, I gotta get a little bit better. Well, I gotta make better time than we did today. We did not make good time, man, at all. I have to look at that. I think the main reason why is I had two customers come out and talk to me. Of course, I did pick up another $800 job, you know, taking those two trees out. Uh, I mean, I could just about do that job by my damn self. You know, I could go over there after we get done working every day and reach up as high as I can and trim stuff. Take a piece of the fence out and run the bobcat right up in there and grab that stuff. I don't even need two guys for that. What I really need to do is I need to take the new guy over there with me to do those two trees and let Zach go cut grass. So, but we had a good day, I mean, we didn't work hard or nothing. It just took a long time. Kept getting hung up on little stuff, you know. But after we get into the rotation and do them regular, then, you know, it'll be a lot easier. See, but my brain is going to, it keeps going back to, okay, I got a $3,000 skid steer job right over, right here. You know, the one I showed you guys yesterday. And that's up a $600 job and an $800 job. So, you know, I got, you know, $4,500 worth of skid steer work ready, ready right now. I mean, nothing in the way of me doing that. And here I am chasing $60 and $70 lawns. See, that's the problem. I don't like that, man. I'm going to have to. You know what I'm saying. But Zach did good today. And Zach didn't get that mower stuck, y'all. I did that, so. <laughs> of course, the owner's the, the one that always gets his stuff. Y'all know why, don't you? Because I tell the guys that work for me, don't get nowhere around that damn, that damn water uh, drainage there. Let me get it. <laughs> so, I got it all right. I may have to change up how I do some stuff, man, so we can make, so we can get more work done. Um, like maybe eating lunch out here or something like that, man. See, me going home for lunch, sometimes that knocks our hustle. But I don't ever get burned out when I do that, so... I thought for sure today we would be done with everything by 3. It's 3.30 and we still, we could have worked another hour, but I got to eat something, man. I'm hungry.
All right, y'all. Y'all know what it is. It's Sammy Time Tuesday.